Howdy folks, Spencer here, and today I want to take a look at the latest batch of news for STO on both PC and console. As always, chapters are listed down below. First up, for those of you over on console, there's still a few days left to the anniversary giveaways. For a couple hours after this video goes out, you'll be able to pick up an experimental ship upgrade token for free in the promotions tab of the C store. Then around 10 a.m. Pacific time, it'll be swapping over to three Infinity Promo Delta Alliance staff packs that you can pick up, again in the promotions tab of the C store. And then on March 12th, alongside the new content drop, which will have the 14th anniversary event, you're going to have a free 100% off T6 coupon that you can pick up again in the promotions tab of the C store. And you'll have a week to, to pick that one up. So it's very important that you're logging in and picking up as many of these giveaways as you can, especially that T6 coupon. And for whatever reason, those of you on console have been forgotten by Cryptic. If you look at pretty much all of the official English channels for the game, none of them have talked about these giveaways for console players. So it is very important that if you're a console player, that you are letting everyone you know, know about these giveaways, especially that T6 coupon one, because for whatever reason, when you look at all of the English channels for, for the game, there is nothing, not through Facebook, not through Twitter, not through the Art Games website, not through the Play Star Trek Online one. The only official channel that has commented on these giveaways for console at all is the German Twitter account. So again, it's pretty much up to the, the community to spread word about these giveaways because for whatever reason, Cryptic doesn't want to tell you guys about them. So again, make sure if you're over on console, that you're telling everyone you know over there to, to log in and pick these things up, especially that free T6 coupon. And for those of you on console, pretty much all of the other blogs are things that I've already covered in other news videos. So if you wanna see a breakdown on the last generation lockbox stuff, I'll have the timestamp for when I talked about that in the last video linked down below. The, the Wolf 359 TFO, I'll have my video showing a playthrough of that link down below. And uh, with the random elite TFO system, again, like I've talked about a few times now, you guys should make sure to sell your isomag components and consoles as soon as possible, because when this drops, if people over there start spamming the, the random elite system, you're going to see the prices on pretty much all of those advanced consoles tanks. So just be aware and be ready for that market crash. And for those of us on PC, the second event in the year long event campaign has just been announced. It is a Tholian event and it is going to be starting up on PC on March 13th. The two cues you can do to earn your daily progression are Azure Nebula and Vault Ensnared. And the reward that the top of the blog list here is a Universal Console Tholian Web Array. And the reason that this is mentioned and the changes to Azure Nebula Rescue and Vault Ensnared is because, of course, the top two thirds of this blog are copy pasted from a Tholian event that happened back in 2021. So that universal console is not actually the reward from this event. Instead, it's a kit module. But I do want to note on the, the topic of this Tholian uh, Web Array console, it released from an event back in 2021 and uh, the passive on it still doesn't work in 2024. The highest quality. So the actual uh, reward here from this specific event is a universal kit module, Tholian Technology Suite. And this has a passive and active effect. The passive is that the kit module will automatically replicate a Tholian assault drone upon entering any combat scenario. This combat assistant uses Tetron beams and Tetron cone blasts to assault your nearby enemies. It will expire when combat is over. And if destroyed, there's a brief lockout period before another is spawned in. And the clicky here is an adaption of one of the devastating radiation blasts seen used by Tholians in their specialized EV suits. This powerful bit of weaponry takes a few seconds to charge up, but offers massive energy and environmental damage resistance during this period. Once fully charged, the blast is capable of decimating armies of foes while blasting them backwards. So it might be a fun kit module to use, but I, I don't expect it to be anything like that really shakes up the meta or anything like that. So basically this is going to be an event where you're running it just to get your event campaign progress and I do want to note that if you're wanting to, to get as much event campaign progress as possible, you want to make sure to play this all 21 days that this event is active. If you do it just for the 14 days to get to the, the event itself completed, you'll only get 700 event campaign progress. 
And if you play it for the additional seven days on top of getting that additional lithium, you'll also be getting 50 campaign progress each day. So if you want to get your event campaign done a bit faster, again, make sure you're playing the event every single day that it's up. And a quick note for those of us on PC, the Tholian event is going to be starting up on this Wednesday, the 13th, and should be running up through around April 3rd. Meaning that as soon as that ends, we're going to see the first contact day event start up. So if you were hoping for a break between events, doesn't seem like that's going to happen much this year. Next up, for those of us on PC, there's a T6 coupon giveaway over in the Builds Discord. To join, simply go to the Builds Discord, which is linked down below in the pinned comment. Go to the giveaways channel and hit this blue party icon at the bottom of that post and you'll be entered to win. This coupon was donated by Bridger, and this giveaway is going to be ending on Saturday, March 16th at 2 p.m. Central Time. So again, just go in, hit the button, and you'll be entered for a chance to win. And thank you to Bridger for donating that coupon. And for those of you that like to collect the physical ship models, Fanhome has announced that they're going to be continuing the Star Trek Starships diecast collection, and they're going to be releasing ships in a similar size format to what Eagle Moss did, because a lot of the people that are over there at Fan Home collected a lot of the Eagle Moss lineup and want to create ships that would fit in with their collection. And they have since removed it, but with the initial announcement here, they had mentioned the ships that they were going to be doing. And notably, there is the, the Titan, the Stargazer, the Farragut, and the Enterprise F. So for the Stowe people here that want a physical model of the Enterprise F, it looks like that is one of the ships that Fan Home is going to be covering. And over at Master Replicas, they've had quite a few sales recently on some Star Trek ships, but they also just announced that they're going to be releasing a Moopsie plush. Uh, so this is Moopsie from Star Trek Lower Decks. This is going to cost you 25 bucks plus shipping. So if you're a fan of Moopsie and you want a physical Moopsie plushie, then I'll have that link down below. And that is going to be shipping later in May. And the last ship related announcement here is over at Real Merch. They have a deal going on right now where you can pick up seven of the Eagle Moss ships for uh, 30 pounds, 35 euros, or 40 US dollars. This has another four and a half days left of the sale. And mostly this is just a bunch of the alien ships, but you can have a look around and see if there's anything of interest here. Just add seven of these to your cart and you'll see that the, the cost is what they list here. So it's that plus shipping. So if you're interested in a ship like the, the Orion Scout vessel, you could pick up a physical model of it. The, the size on these is all pretty good. They're typically around four to five inches. So they're a decent sized model and it's a mix of metal and plastic for all of them. And again, links to everything are down below. And the last thing for today is just some follow up to something I talked about last week. Um, so I'd mentioned that Hector Ortiz, a concept artist for Stowe, had posted some concept art for an Ethereum ship over on LinkedIn. And I, I showed this off on a news video last week. Again, I, I would not be surprised if we see this popping up into the game sometime later this year. But since that news video, Hector did also post some concept art for what the Ethereans look like. So if you wanted to check that out, I'll have links to that down below. But that is going to be it for today. As always, thank you to all channel members and viewers for the continued support. See you guys around.